Tony Veroven. Uh, in this episode, I interviewed Keith Jordan from Sandy Vox. Now, Keith and I and a bunch of other people were supposed to go to Phoenix for the NAFA 2020 Technical Seminar, and I'm recording this on the 25th of March. Um, we had to cancel the conference, obviously, due to COVID-19, the coronavirus. And uh, so w- that's terrible, of course, but uh, we do want to remain um, vigilant and uh, practice good, safe social distancing. And so I'm doing that right now by recording this from my home office that I had always wanted but never had. And so here we are all working from home. So uh, NAFA staff is all remote and uh, and so know that we're taking good care of you, and you guys t- take good care uh, of of customers out there. I know you guys are doing some really important work out there uh, in uh, changing filters and uh, keeping those facilities out there safe. So great job! Thanks so much, uh, everybody else. Do your part. Hang in there. Uh, we've got several weeks to go of this, so we wanted to create uh, some p- more podcasts out there. In this episode, we do reference and promote the conference, so disregard that. Plug your ears when that comes around. Um, It was really almost impossible to delete that from this episode just because it was interwoven in the conference. So, In fact, the same thing is for the next episode I'll be releasing, which is with Nadia Saba, uh, Dr. Greenhouse, who also had a session, uh, as did Keith, at the technical seminar. So again, just disregard those um, and uh, we'll pretend it never happened, all right? So uh, I think that both episodes with Keith and with Nadia, however, still have a lot of merit, some great conversation about uh, UV and some great conversation about um, uh, indoor farming and some considerations that need to be taken. And of course, you're going to find out that there is some overlap between these two subjects uh, as well. So I hope you enjoy the episodes. I want you to stay safe out there. Thanks so much to our NAFA members for doing great work out there. And uh, take care, and we'll see you next time. Hi, it's Tony Veroven with the National Air Filtration Association. I'm here with Keith Jordan of Sandyvox. Hi, Keith. How are you? Great. Very well. We're here actually at the uh, AEHR Expo in Orlando, and uh, we've been uh, at a booth. You've been at your booth all day. So how thing, how things been going so far? It's fantastic. It's a great show in Orlando. It's been busy two days. In a row, we've been talking to so many distributors and customers. It's fantastic. It's been really well. Tell us a little bit about your company. What do you do for your company? What does your company do? So we're with Sandy Vox UV, based out of Montreal, Canada. And we've for 25 years, we've been manufacturing air, odor, and surface disinfection using UVC technology. Okay, fantastic. And, and how does that specifically apply to air filtration? So most of our commercial distributors are air filter sales and service companies, and they are dealing with IAQ. And UV is just an extension, a synergistic technology with filtration. So it's okay. a perfect blend for them. Because people usually don't think, when they think air filtration, they're thinking particulate, they're thinking Correct. air fil- media. And then some people might think UV is like the separate application, but it really kind of goes hand in hand then, right? It, it, okay. it, it used to be separate application, but it does really go hand in hand because uh, filters can capture, but they can't kill. Right. We can kill, but we can't capture. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it really, uh, if you look at the 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 uh, research behind the filtration there's a most penetrating particle where there's a weakness in the filters but we can bridge that gap okay we can uh, you know s- fix that weakness for them got it got it okay there it seems like it it seems like it uh, makes sense for for you to be here obviously then to work with those those folks as well then absolutely excellent yeah so uh, in a couple months uh, it's currently uh, February uh, 2020, at, we're here at the HR Expo, which usually happens about this time. But in a couple months, you'll be presenting at the NAFA Technical Seminar, which is going to take place in Scottsdale, Phoenix mm-hmm. area, uh, March 31st through April 2nd. So, tell me a little bit about what your presentation will be like, and what what kind of what are, are sort of the main kind of high points. Sure. So, I titled it uh, "Making UV a, a Profit Center." 
because I do have a lot of air filter companies that are using our or selling our product, but they're not doing as much as they could. And so I'm thinking what they're lacking is a education, being more comfortable with the technology, but also knowing which applications we can can shine in, no pun intended, but <laughs> which applications they can focus on. Because we can give them the technology, we can educate them on the product, make them comfortable, but if they don't know exactly which application to apply it for, then they have a hesitancy to, to, to really go after it. And so what I'm going to touch on is obviously make sure the science, everybody's on the same page with the science of how it works, the physics behind it. But we're going to talk about specific applications that may be in their territory, in their, in their facilities or their customer base that they can immediately go right in and approach their customers with this application. So how does it, tell me a little bit about the kind of relationship. Does someone have to have a previous relationship with you guys have your own distributors or Salesforce or with some of our air filter folks? I mean, do they have to have a previous relationship? I guess if somebody's interested in doing business with you as one of our other type of members, mm -hmm. how do they do that? They contact us. So yeah. I work directly for Sandy Vox. I cover 11 states for them. We have guys just like me that cover the Pacific Northwest, cover the Midwest and the East Coast. And uh, we will be, we set up distribution for Sandy Box. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So it sounds like, um, you know, obviously if you're a business owner or in your business development, you should definitely come to a conference and listen to Keith speak about how to maybe add some incremental revenue. Right, yes, to, absolutely. To your, yeah. You can just sell another product to your existing customer base. So therefore, adding another profit center, it's easier to sell a second or third product to the same customer that trusts you than it is to go out and try to find a brand new customer. So I know I, I know this much about air filtration. I don't come from this in industry, so, I, so I'm not going to pretend to know that. But I guess my impression would be that, um, and, and again, swat me down because I want, that's, I'm teeing you up here. So my impression would be for you would be very applicable to maybe like obviously like hospitals and things like that. Correct. Are there other applications where maybe think people wouldn't think that UV would apply? Absolutely. So within the air odor and surface disinfection, it's obviously split into applications, but we started early on 25 years ago in residential air and odor and surface protect or disinfection. And then we bridged into the commercial and hospitals and schools were our first foray. And up until about five years ago, hospitals were my top customer base. Mm -hmm. And then a little thing called cannabis became legalized in, in Canada and several of the other states. And within five years, now cannabis is my number one customer base. The hospitals are a second, and then you've got industrial and, and factories, and then some odor control applications Excellent. that are that are right up there. So uh, earlier, uh, I actually just up there on the other level here, I interviewed uh, Dr. Greenhouse, Nadia Saba, yes. right, who will also be speaking at our conference. And so uh, she's involved in helping uh, indoor farmers, right, build operations. And part of that is, involves, um, uh, does involve cannabis. So yep. what kind of application, what are some of the concerns that a cannabis grower or other types of agri indoor agri agriculture mm -hmm. might run into and why would they need to apply UV? Sure. So on the UV side, there's a fungus called powdery mildew that attacks the plant. And because they have adopted the regulations from the smoking industry where you cannot use harmful pesticides, which is what they use in produce to, to fight powdery mildew, they can't use that. They have to use fungicides. The fungicides are not strong enough to defeat the powdery mildew. So a lot of the guys are looking for a chemical-free solution. And that's right where we have uh, inserted ourselves. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, very cool stuff. So I think you should definitely come to see Keith at the uh, NAFA Technical Seminar and see Nadia and Keith both speak, which seem, I, I didn't intend that, but it seems like there might be We've some worked together. I work with Nadia. Fantastic. Yep. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much. And uh, we'll see you in a couple months. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank you. For more information about how the National Air Filtration Association's membership, networking, education, and certifications can improve your career and business, visit NAFAHQ.org.